It's a class four apparition. That's okay. She seems peaceful. My name is Erin Gilbert, doctor of particle physics. At ah! That stuff went everywhere, by the way, in every crack. Very hard to wash off. We have dedicated our whole lives to studying the paranormal. Now there's sightings all over the city. There are people out there that need our help. Holtzman, you're a brilliant engineer. Erin, ah! no one's better at quantum physics than you. We can provide a real service. I'm joining the club. You guys are really smart about this science stuff, but I know New York. And I can borrow a car from my uncle. Uh, you didn't disclose that the vehicle was going to be a hearse. It's a Cadillac! Movie Month. It is my fourth annual Movie Month. I'll watch 30 movies that I've never seen in 30 days. Hello, this is uh, Mike, and I am currently on my train home. I'm getting off the next stop, and I just wanted to uh, start talking about today's movie because I already watched it. I watched most of it. Oh, we're here. I watched most of it on the train ride this morning. Finished it up at lunch today, and um, I'm going to wait till I get out of the train to actually start talking about it. <clears throat> but just to give you a heads up as if you don't already know today's movie Lauren, is, Lauren. is the 2016 Ghostbusters reboot thank you um, so everybody's aware of this movie everybody's aware of the original and the need for years of them trying to get a Ghostbusters 3 made. Trying to get a Ghostbusters movie made of any kind. A remake, a reboot, uh, n new young Ghostbusters, something. And finally, last year, we got the 2016 Ghostbusters movie. We are like, oh, it's finally gonna be a new Ghostbusters movie. And what? It's gonna be all female. What's that mean? So, an all female Ghostbusters. Obviously, the internet, you know, the internet of nerds go fucking, oops, go, go wild, go crazy. Uh, they start complaining. Oh, go, an all female Ghostbusters? But that's not the Ghostbusters I know. <laughs> um, and, you know, I thought, really? They're doing this? And I thought, okay, what's it gonna be? Um, is it going to be... This is what I wanted it to be. So, uh, okay, they're doing all-female Ghostbusters. It's going to be Paul Feig. Great. I trust him. Good director. You know, it's in good hands. And then they announced the casting, and I thought, okay, I can get behind this. this, this is, these, are, these, these are good actresses that I, that I look forward to, that I think are pretty funny. I, I can see them working together. Um, and I had my idea for what the movie would be. This is what I wanted it to be. And this is what... It, this. To me, uh, I don't want to complain. I'm not complaining. Okay, so the trailer came out, and I did complain. I was one of those internet nerds that started to complain and be like, what am I watching? Because I was so ready for this, so excited just to see a new Ghostbusters movie. So interested to see what it would be. And this is what I wanted it to be. Jesus Christ, is every car so loud? Okay. I know it's a reboot. Okay, there, there's four women, so they're not playing the same characters. But I wanted it to take place in the same world. That was the nerd of me. The nerd of me wanted it to be like this. Okay. 1984, we had the Ghostbusters. 1989, they, they, you know, they were around. They came back for Ghostbusters 2, blah, blah, blah. After that, um, you know, they kind of dried up. They, they got older. They didn't want to do it anymore. So they started franchising the Ghostbusters. They started allowing people to purchase franchises for, you know, in various cities. So there'd be a Ghostbusters team in Chicago, a Ghostbusters in Boston, a Ghostbusters in uh, Tuscaloosa. I don't know. Just a Ghostbusters wherever a franchisee could, could create a franchise. 
and that's what this movie would be. This would be, uh, uh, you know, a franchise of the Ghostbusters. Or they'd be, you know, they, they, something like they find out that the Ghostbusters used to be a thing and they want to bring, back, bring it back and make it new again. Um, that's what I wanted. And then I would be like, okay, I don't care who, who's in it. It's kind of, you know, keeping the history of the Ghostbusters and continuing. And that's not at all what they did. They basically started fresh, said this is based on the old Ghostbusters, here's a new movie called Ghostbusters, a whole new story, a whole new cast of characters, no connection to the old movie at all. They reference the old movie, they pay homage to the old movie in certain aspects, but it is not part of the old movie at all. It's as if, 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 if you were, just came to this earth and you did not see any movie, and this was the first movie you saw, you could follow this movie like you wouldn't get some of the jokes you may not get some of the cameos but it wouldn't matter because you have no connection to the old movie and to me that sucked but I saw past it I watched the movie today and if I just could see past that it was an okay movie I liked pretty much all the performances I thought all four women were funny uh there was, you know, there were some real hokey jokes. There was some real hokey moments. Uh, anytime, you know, ever since John Candy said uh, that's going to leave a mark on armed and dangerous, that's the only time that 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 line has worked for me. Ever since then, if I hear that's going to leave a mark, it just doesn't work for me. Um, so it was kind of hokey, but when I first saw the trailer, I was really like, oh no. And I saw bad reviews, good reviews, and so much controversy because people people were up in arms that it was all women. And I got to tell you, I did not give two craps that it was all women. I gave too many craps that it was a, 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 re, a reboot where, like, the three surviving Ghostbusters are all in it as different as different actors. Uh, Annie Potts and Sigourney Weaver, uh, different characters, I mean. They're all different characters and had nothing to do with the old movie and I had to see past it but that's I'm still going obviously I'm not seeing past it too much because I'm still complaining about it but I, I have to see past it or I had to see past it and I just sat down and I just watched the movie and I enjoyed it and I thought you know what I I I I I, I would like to see a second movie. I want to see where they go from here. They're starting to rebuild it. Let's do another one. I guess, you know, it's like, um, it's like any reboot. They start over and here's the, they're taking something old and making something new. I guess when it's just something so sacred to a 40 year old nerd uh, that you, you, you take it a little personally because that movie was such a part, part of my childhood. You know, I, I remember sitting in the car with my brother and my grandmother coming up and holding up the newspaper because that's how you used to find uh, uh, movies back in the old days holding the newspaper up to the window with the big Ghostbusters logo on it and she was taking us to go see Ghostbusters and that was you know one of the greatest movie memories 1984 is just a movie uh, uh, a mecca for uh, amazing movies and so you know I, I kind of I hold this movie sacred so when I see this oh man I don't want to complain because I liked the movie but I'm just trying to tell you any negative feelings I have about it is just due to my mostly to my geekiness and my love of the original movie and my complete you know internet nerdness nothing really to do with the movie this movie itself as a standalone movie it was fine I, I, I laughed out loud at a couple of places. I enjoyed a few things. Um, there were things I thought, again, I said were hokey. Some things I thought were a little cheesy. Um, but I hold nothing, you know, nothing negative about the directing or the, uh, the acting in it. It was just all pretty good. Not bad. Not awesome. I didn't, you know, pump my fist and get excited for this movie. Like, um... <clears throat> Like, the other, like other movies I've seen, and I can't see myself watching this movie for years and years, but I definitely wouldn't mind seeing a sequel, because at the end, end, end of the movie, there's a little tag at the end of the, uh, 
credits, and they bring up something that ties back to the original movie. Um, and again, I'm just like, okay, uh, I'm in. I'll, I'll watch another one. Oh, what did I, if I could say specifically one thing that bothered me? I guess is where, where did the why is there a giant ghost parade of, of giant Macy's b- balloons? I don't know. There, there. That that's. But that's the nitpicking nerd in me. But again, I'm doing a friggin' podcast called Geek Mentality, talking about movies for 30 days. If you're not expecting some nerdness, you know, then uh, what are you doing anyway? See, the thing I like about this is I, I get off the train and I have plenty of time before my wife comes and picks me up. Um, Ghostbusters 2016. You know? I enjoyed it more than I thought I would. I really was too happy to, to, to not like it. I mean, it's the most disliked trailer ever on, on YouTube. And I was almost too giddy. I, I did a podcast about the trailer complaining about it. That's how much of a freaking nerd I am. Um, I was almost too giddy to be like, oh, this movie, to be negative about this movie. Not because it's all women, but because it just didn't, it looked cheesy and corny. And the, the, it was completely, you know, a new story. Ah, I'm repeating myself. Because I'm just pacing, waiting for my wife to pick me up from the train. See, luckily she, she uh, gets here a little late usually so I can record today. And I apologize for the traffic sounds. That's just the way it is. Um, but that's Ghostbusters, man. I'm, I'm, I'm glad I watched it. Um, I'm, I, have, I didn't have a great desire to see it in the theaters. And I don't feel bad that I didn't see it in the theaters. But I'm glad I saw it. Because I, I think it was still a worthwhile movie. And that's it. I, I, I should start grading these movies. Maybe, it's like, maybe next year I'll give a grade to my movies. Um, but it, for today, movie month is done already for the day. These are these nice because I go to Boston a few days a week. Okay, a couple days a week. And on those days, uh, watching movies is a lot easier because I have plenty of time sitting on the train doing nothing. And today is already done. And it's not even quarter past six. So thank you for listening. You can find me on Twitter at Geek Mentality or the websites at Fans Not Experts. On Facebook, we are Fans Not Experts. And the website, guess what? It's FansNotExperts.com. Every movie that I've ever watched is posted on there. If you go to FansNotExperts.com slash Movie Month, you'll see just Movie Month posts. And there should be, you know, there's, there's going to be five now for this year. 30 from last year, 30 from the year before, and 30 from the year before. So I am very much gearing towards getting towards my 100th movie. I don't know what that's going to be yet. I don't even know what tomorrow's going to be yet. But I know um, that I'm going to enjoy bringing it to you right here on Fans Not Experts Movie Month. Find us everywhere using the hashtag FNE Movie Month. That's all one word. And still waiting for my wife. Maybe I should just start walking home. But until then, here... Oh, see, there's nobody around now, so I can get really loud. Here is my theme song. This is my podcast. I made it. Geek Mentality's what I named it. And I think you should listen and subscribe. Because I'm kind of funny and awesome. I think that I'm worth your time and I'm kind of handsome. My mom says, please listen and please subscribe. At least listen to this episode. Fans not experts.